Ah, I like the taste of that. Do the do. Thank you. <laughs> you look hungry. <laughs> I look hungry. So where are they getting how much on this Dorado? How much per kilo? Hmm. I bought this Mahi Mahi, this Dorado here in this bag. Let's get it out of here. It's not still frozen in there. The, all the ice still frozen. Not completely thawed out. It is a little bit. I laid this Dorado, this Mahi Mahi back up here in one piece. You can kind of see how long it is. I tell you, it's just over two foot long. Actually, from the head of that to the end of that tail where she chopped part of it off, that is actually probably close to 30 inches. So that's a pretty nice one. And uh, that cost me, I believe it was 520 pesos. So you're talking about like $10.50, 60 cents, 70 cents, quarter March station rate is. Say eleven dollars. Just say this cost me eleven bucks for this big mahi mahi, and I had to just chop it in half so it fit in my cooler. That's really nice meat. Look at that. Looks like it's got a row in it. Also, I'll eat that. Also, I like those eggs. Yep. Look at that. That is nice. I'm really excited. I'm wanting to cut some of this right now and cook it and I'm gonna cut some of it up and put it in the freezer yeah I'm really happy to get that though I love living here by the shore and where I can go right down here and get these fish like this I mean I just think it's a heck of a deal 11 bucks and that is a lot of eating right there without a doubt a lot of eating you can take these right here cut this across here and make these like in the little steaks almost you know man i really look forward to eating some of this and that's about what i'm gonna do right now so anybody watching this tell me what you would give for um a dorado a mahi mahi uh about this size i'm trying to remember how she told me that was like I'm trying to remember how many kilos she told me it was. I don't have a scale here, and I actually forgot. I might be able to reference in the video. I cannot remember right now. But uh, just give me some ideas of how much it costs per pound or per, per kilo where you live. And let's do a little price comparison. Well, I cut me up a few steaks out of this. It's got that row there in it, too. Uh, Man, I just cut a few up and I put the rest of it in the freezer head and all. Because, of course, we're going to cook the head and all because there's a lot of meat on there. But I just took some slices right out of the middle only. And, man, that is nice right there alone. I'm going to take a few of them and cook them up right now tonight. I'll make me up some lemon butter, boy. Lemon butter, that will be so good. Lemon butter and garlic. And I believe that's how I'm going to cook them up and pan fry them. Man, that should be really awesome. It's nice, huh? Mm -hmm. 
You want some tonight? So I got my mahi, mahi, my dorado right there. So I can just kind of clean it up a little bit. Put me just um, a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit of olive oil here in the pan. I hadn't heated it up yet. Just don't want them to stick when I throw them in there. And right here, this is melted butter. This, I didn't have lemon, so I squeezed a bunch of calamansi here from the Philippines, which is another little citrus. It's really delicious. And uh, I put some garlic rosemary in here. That's part of what you see right there, the dark around the edges. And then just because I live so near to Louisiana, back home in Texas, I put a little bit of slap your mama in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop each one of these down in this, almost like a batter. And then I'm gonna throw it there in the pan. So I got this mahi mahi, this Dorado cooking up right here. That is a little bit of olive oil, but it's mostly butter with uh, calamansi. It has some slap your mama. It has some garlic seasoning with rosemary in it. I didn't chop up fresh garlic. So there's garlic with rosemary. And uh, of course I had to have that slap your mama. Let me show you which ones I used here. So in this particular ordeal, I use this one right here with the rosemary, garlic seasoning, see here, with rosemary in it. Man, that is really nice. So I added that. And then of course, me being a Texan, bordered up right there with Louisiana, I had to put some slap your mama. Man, you just cannot beat this right here on any kind of seafood at all right there. Slap your mama. I'm not affiliated with either one of these people right here, any one of these brands by any way. Maybe I should be. I've had some uh, subscribers actually say they got on Amazon and order this. And you know what? I got an idea. I am an Amazon Associates uh, out there I, I do have where I can earn uh, like a commission so I tell you what maybe I am gonna be affiliated because I'm gonna find a link out there for slap your mama on Amazon and I'm gonna uh, paste the link down into the description of this video to where you can easily find the slap your mama it won't change the price any um, it will earn <laughs> no more than this cost we would just earn uh, cents, you know, just pennies, but pennies add up. So I will. I'm gonna put a link out there. It'd be easy for you to find it. And uh, little pennies trickling in, turn in the dollars. I tell you. So that would help me out a little bit too. Appreciate that. But right there, slap your mama. A little bit of Dorado, mahi, mahi. Now you may notice here, I did not remove the skin. That is a matter of preference. Man, this smells so good. I'm gonna take this little brush right here and throw a little bit of that butter back up on top, a little bit of that seasoning. Get a little bit of it back up there on the top. Nice, 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 nice. And I'm going to throw just a little bit more slap your mama there on top of it. They say this is so good, it'll make you slap your mama. That's the slogan. Man, oh man, does that look righteous right there. Any Filipinos out there watching and you've never had any uh, Cajun seasonings, man, this, and there's a couple other brands out there that are really good, but you ought to try some of this yourself. Even you can order it in and get it here to the Philippines. You might find it your new favorite. Oh, Melinda, you really like it, don't you? Yes. The Slappy Mama and the Tonys? Yes, yeah. Yeah, I tell you, it is wonderful spice for seafoods for it really is kind of change up your taste buds a little bit explore and try something new you know life don't have to be so boring and mundane you don't have to always just eat the same few menus so a little bit that, that butter around on there real quick Man, 
Look at it just swimming. Still swimming. Swimming in an ocean of butter and olive oil. E Mahi or Dorado, it's a real clean, uh, flaky top fish. You see right there how white and flaky that is. Man, it is some really, really good eating. Not too fishy flavor. Really nice flavor right here. I'll tell you what else Mahi Mahi is good for. Dorado, as you call it here in the Philippines. It is good for making fish tacos. That flakiness of that right there and that clean flavor. Fish tacos all the way right there now, I'm telling you. Let's really jump right out of here over on that plate and then in my belly. But talking about bellies and mellies. We're talking about old Melly. I said, babe, you want some of this right now? No, I don't want I don't feel like. But here's how this is gonna break down. Then I'm gonna have it over here on this plate. I'm gonna start eating. She's gonna come by and she's gonna snag a little bite. And then another bite. And then the next thing you know, she's done ate a whole mess of it. <laughs> and she knows I'm telling the truth over that. Yeah. So if she always says, no, I really don't want none right now. I'm full. My stomach don't feel good. I know I better go ahead and cook some anyway. I'm going to learn these lessons. Well, there it is. I'm going to get it out of here and eat it up. Uh, share your way that you the best like mahi mahi. And as I said, share how much that you pay and whatever the part of the world that you live in per pound or per kilo, how much it costs there. And let's do a little global price comparison. What'd I tell you? Look who's at the table even before me. What'd I tell you? <laughs> and that's why I cook four pieces. <laughs> so how is it? It's good though. I didn't know that this piece is so good. Huh? Yeah, because you got Chef James here. Wow. <laughs> Like this. You do? You really like that? It tastes great? Yeah, I didn't know that. This fish is good. What kind of fish is one? Mahi, mahi, you dorado. Oh. Yeah, yeah, dorado. Yeah, dorado. Y'all call it dorado here, but globally, it, in some places, called dorado in other parts of the world and mahi, mahi. They also call it dolphin fish, mm -hmm. especially the English will call it dolphin fish, even though it is no relation in any way to a dolphin. Uh, so I think it's just because it rides along the surface a lot and uh, it's a type of fish that likes to ride high in the water not down in the depths so there you go right there if I know you know this one is my mommy I already bought this fish before you like it like that huh yeah oh man I'm telling you there's yeah. lots of good ways it's yeah. good on the grill too you cook twice you know the first that Holly bought man I like that one too you like see i'm telling you i know what's up you filipinos are just out there eating that fish the same the same oh, now that's some fish egg right there that's the roe tell me if you like it it's gonna be more fishy mm -hmm. is it good yeah i like those fish eggs all right well there's the proofs in the pudding right there the proofs in the pudding that yeah. first of all you better cook double and the next off that uh she likes it and i like that well, I better eat mine or I ain't going to get nothing.